Hi there, it's Nicole Spore from The Planner Pair, and today I have my weekly spread for February 8th through the 14th. This is Valentine's week, so I went with a red, white, and black, very fun and whimsical type of spread this week. I incorporated some Disney stickers from the big Disney sticker book. So we've got Mickey and Minnie there. Then we've got Mickey holding on to a box, Minnie holding on to a box, and the red hearts are also from that sticker book. Everything else is from some other sticker books. The majority of my red stickers are from the Happy Planner Rainbow sticker book. And then I did pull um, like the doodle type of hearts and journaling boxes. That is the journaling sticker book and journaling doodles sticker book. So pretty limited as far as my sticker choices this week, which I know is kind of crazy because I tend to pull from a zillion different sticker books. I'm trying um, to not overthink it a whole lot. I'm adding this little phrase sticker down here below kind of the boxes, if you will. I thought it worked better because I have a lot that I want to add over here. This, of course, Sunday will be Valentine's Day. So that's where I wanted to focus my Valentine's Day type of image, which is this Mickey and Minnie. And I peeled that little sticker phrase up so that I could place Mickey and Minnie down and it's going to cover up some of that white space from their shoes. It's such a little thing, but I didn't want the white going over this phrase sticker. So that's why I peeled that back up to tuck it down. I'm also doing the videos, the last couple I've done in real time. Please let me know if you like it in real time or if you would rather I speed it up. I have sped up the process as far as design by laying out the majority of my spread on the sticker or the um, guides, the Happy Planner guides here that make it easy to kind of pre-plan without sticking a whole bunch down on your actual planner spread and, and trying to pull them up. I did that when I first started and I struggled with it. Maybe at some point I will feel comfortable to just pop those down and go for it, but I am not there yet. You will see like here, I do have to pull up some stickers from time to time, time to time. I try really hard not to press them down in place unless I am super sure that that is where they're going to go. These black floral stickers, I believe, are from the Farmhouse sticker book, if I'm not mistaken. I liked the black and white outline of those combined with the whimsical kind of hearts and then the bright reds of the Disney stickers and then also the bright reds of the rainbow stickers. And that was kind of why I picked those because I felt like they helped soften up the design a little bit. I couldn't decide where I wanted to put this It's the Weekend sticker. I put it up above. I felt like it was covered up too much by the floral sticker. I put it down below, and I think that I'm, no, I'm not super happy with that either. I'm going to move it up, I think, just a little bit and maybe straddle that line. And that ends up working pretty good. I don't mind it overlapping a little bit, but I didn't want it to cover it so much that it's not legible. And I probably could have placed it on top, but design-wise, I just felt like I liked that little outline sticker over the top of that. So that kind of goes over my Saturday, Sunday, which I love. I'm combining Saturday and Sunday this week just it's kind of how the design worked out. I do have space in that heart that's functional where I can write any weekend plans or anything like that. And then I will be adding some more little journaling boxes throughout the Saturday, Sunday area. That's a little bit later in the video. It's one of those things that I started filling in with, um, but it will kind of go 
right below the It's the Weekend sticker and then down by Mickey and Minnie over to the left, which I know is the Friday, Thursday, but I think it kind of really works. I love these little to-do stickers. I think they will be fantastic for the functional type of boxes for my spread. And just like last week's spread, I'm going to be drawing in my lines and then my little check boxes or circles with the stencils. That way I can really just fill them in wherever it fits and use however many lines I want to. I am a huge fan of any of the Disney stickers that feature an image where it looks like they're holding onto a box. I've already used quite a few in different spreads and things because I just really love them. And I thought it was fun that it worked out that Mickey can hold on to this butt first coffee box that is from the rainbow sticker book. And then the hearts are from the big Mickey sticker book, the red heart is, and the doodle hearts are from the journaling, the big ones from the journaling and the small ones throughout the entire spread are from the journaling doodles. I really love those big ones as far as they are a fantastic way to incorporate more functionality into your spread. Now on the planning guides, something that Peyton and I have been talking about a lot is when you use them, if you leave your stickers on them for very long, which Peyton has found out, and I found out the hard way quite a while ago, that they stick to the planner guides and they're kind of hard to get up. And so I don't ever press my stickers onto the sticker guides very hard. I usually lay them down pretty gently, try not to smooth them out or anything like that. Even though I'm doing some overlapping and it's very easy, like I just picked up this whole group and was able to move it over, but I try really hard not to press them down and when I am planning out my spread, I just go ahead and move it straight over to my actual planner spread right away. I don't let it sit there for days. Um, when I first got started, I did, because I would kind of get started and, and think, oh, I'll lay some of this out and I'll come back to it. Well, inevitably, I wouldn't get right back to it. The stickers would kind of stick to the sheet they were hard to move and I was so disappointed because it was really such a pain to move them. But they are so valuable in planning, for me at least. I love that I don't have to commit to putting them right on the page. Here's another section that I'm just going to try to peel up as much of that as possible and move it straight on over here to my planner, but that one sticker is not really working. So I'm going to move that. I love these doodle sticker books. We got them back. Oh, I, we probably received our order in early November. If you look back at our channel, we did a Black Friday haul unboxing and this is one of them we got with that Black Friday. Well, actually both of these doodle sticker books. Um, and they are so fantastic. Just really great basics and I love how they work with pretty much anything you put them with. Um, especially with a red layout like this, they just look amazing. I'm excited to try them with some other color combinations as well. I tried to keep a heart theme throughout my spread. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I really don't see a sticker book, even a seasonal one that has a lot of Valentine's type of stickers in it. Um, I know they're coming out with a sticker book probably by the time this video goes up, it will be today. Um, but I just, I'm kind of surprised that I had to search a little bit to be able to come up with something that would work for Valentine's Day. There's plenty of red stickers, um, but just nothing that is overwhelmingly Valentine's. 
And so I really kind of tried to piece it together so it would all work. I'm going to use both of these Aaron's stickers down here on the sidebar of my spread. That's just going to be a great little place that if I have any weekly tasks that I don't necessarily know what day they need to happen, but just some things that overall need to go on this week, I can just jot those down there. I added another flower outline into the sidebar and then the love this sticker. So the red stickers, the errands, and the love this are all from Rainbow. The flowers are from Farmhouse and then the red heart is from that big Mickey sticker book. Just another little group of hearts up here. There's going to be some nice space up there on the 10th. So if I need to add anything additional, I'll just kind of have some open space. And I can go ahead and press that down because that's looking good. So my spread is looking really good. This is pretty much what I had to start with. So I'm ready to start adding in some of those finishing touches. Um, I did decide to add or layer another floral sticker down here along the sidebar. So it really works with the leaves. And it just is a little bigger section over there to the left of today was a good day and the mini sticker. And then I do want to add maybe a few more stickers and I am going to draw in with the stencil all of my lines and check boxes. I do want to add a little to do on the weekend on Saturday here and I'm trying to figure out the best way to add that under it's the weekend. Ultimately, that poor It's the Weekend sticker just got pulled up time after time, but I do like the little flag sticking under this a little bit better. So we're just going to kind of tuck it up under there and then press the sticker down in place. And now I can add some, you could draw in some lines, but I am going to use some of those uh, journaling doodled little long rectangular boxes that I was talking about earlier for that part of the spread. So this time I'm going, I often use the circles, but I decided to use the squares for this spread. And I'm going to use a fine tip red pen to just draw in each of the little squares and then draw lines. And it's just, it varies. I don't necessarily know how many I need for each day. There is extra room pretty much all throughout the week, except for maybe the weekend. So if I need to add more, I can, or if I want to add maybe just some nice little colorful boxes for anything, I can do that if I want to for extra layers or just extra information. But I did try to add quite a few, on, especially on days where I knew I'd probably have quite a few things. Monday's usually a pretty busy day for me, um, just kind of the start of the work week. There's usually um, something going on as far as on my work YouTube channel where I have um, a video go up and I have a blog post and all of those things. So that's generally a pretty big work day, plus just kind of setting up your intention for the week and all of that. So I generally have a lot there. So I did quite a few lines. I thought I would add this little box, but I don't like how it lines up with the errands. So we're not going to leave that there. I'm actually going to move that one over um, to the weekend. And we're just going to leave that empty for now. I could either write something in or maybe something else would work there. I don't know. I just didn't like how those two lined up. I always try to leave plenty of room for writing. Thursday is probably got the least amount of room, but I can always use part of Friday if I need to, but I can use up above Mickey and down below plus the heart. So hopefully that will give me enough space to write anything that's going on. I know I have two appointments this week, and so I am writing those in 
or will be writing those in right away. Other than that, I'll probably sit down Sunday evening, Saturday or Sunday evening and plan out at least the first couple days of the week, or if I have anything else going on that I already know about, I'll fill that in and then I fill it in each evening as needed. Or if I need to move anything that didn't get done to the next day, I can always do that as well. These stencils are so fantastic. If you don't want to, you know, try to go find sticker books. For, I love the bullet style journaling, so I love those stickers. But I really like that you can just make your own especially if you've run out of a lot of the colors that you use. I tend to use a lot of those stickers and I know I have some, but I didn't want to go hunting for them. And this was a much quicker and easier way to add them. Plus, I really do like the little flag sticker kind of without another sticker going down the side. So that worked out really well. And I just line up the little line on the stencil with usually a vertical line on the boxes and then draw in my check boxes and lines to write on. And by, by use, utilizing the space above and below, that's given me quite a bit of room to write. I didn't think it would be, but as I drew all these in, it really ended up being perfect. So we will do a few for Friday here, but that is going to be it as far as drawing in or stenciling in our check boxes and lines. We're going to add a few extra details and that is going to be it for this spread. So remember I said I wanted to use some of the doodle journaling type of boxes for the weekend. And I think we can fit about two of them underneath It's the Weekend. And then maybe three more out to the side on Friday. Kind of coming out from Mickey and Minnie, so it all ties together. They can be used for Friday or they can be used for the weekend. It really doesn't matter. I believe that the Little Journaling Doodles book actually has some little doodle arrows that I thought would be really cute to kind of um, point to whatever day they go to, especially if maybe it's going to go for the weekend. I think it's from the this book. I might peek through here really quick. Really such a cute sticker book. I love the little black and white designs because they go with whatever. I might be lying. I might that little the arrow might be in the journaling one. I could have sworn it was in one of these, maybe not. You could always just pencil in or draw in um, an arrow if you want. I did feel like that space where Mickey and Minnie are making a heart was really kind of blah. And I felt like that from the very beginning. And so I ended up adding a red heart there and I love that image so much more that way. Don't be afraid to layer it up as needed to make it yours. Okay, so I was lying. It's the journaling book. It has arrows in it. So you, if you have anything that maybe isn't on the right day, you can always use these arrows as a great little way to kind of point to what day um, that activity or whatever it is that you have going on, whatever it pertains to. So I might be pulling from that a little bit later. I personally really like to have things kind of tucked underneath one another. That's just a personal preference. And I don't want the journaling box on top of Mickey. He needs to be more of a prominent part of the spread. So I'm super, super gingerly, because I did press him down, pulling him the uh, left side of this sticker up with my tweezers. And again, very, very slowly, because I do not want to tear it. And then we're just going to be tucking little a little bit of the box underneath. And I don't want this one to necessarily cover up the heart box either, so I'm gonna play around with placement. And then just kind of line that up, and that looks good. Let's grab a couple more because I really feel like we have plenty of space. We're just gonna lift up that heart just a little bit, I think. 
tuck it underneath there. I like that better. And then we, we have space here that I think the little doodled journal boxes will fit really nicely. And I didn't want mine to line up perfectly, so I'm making sure that each one sticks out like a little bit further than the one before. I hope that makes sense. These are just the perfect little uh, little size to write down some tasks. And then I did grab a third one and I ended up, I placed it right here to begin with, which is cute. I like that until you lay the sticker down and the tail completely, completely covers up that box. So I'm going to peel that one up. I don't like that at all. And we're just going to move it down a little bit, which I actually think maybe works even a little better. Let's just pop that up. And we're going to place that one right down here. And then when I press the sticker down, it gives plenty of room for Mickey's tail. Look how cute. It turned out so, so fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my February 8th through the 14th weekly spread. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video. Here is another video featuring a weekly spread that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new planning video. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.